And Matt Zahn joins us now with sports. We're giving a platform to a different kind of sport today. Yeah, maybe not the sort of sport you'd expect to be getting going this time of year. When you think outdoor winter sports in the Midwest, you probably think more skiing or snowboarding as opposed to something played on a court. Well, courts in the northern suburbs will be packed this weekend for a big tournament in a sport you might not know much about. It's a cross between tennis and racquetball. Sort of like tennis, but in a much closer, uh, intimate, I would say. This is platform tennis, or paddle tennis, and many of the best players will be competing this weekend in the Chicago Charities Grand Prix, one of the biggest events in the sport. You get players coming in from all over the country to participate in this event. You get all the top players, and you get a ton of lo local people. Uh, playing as well. The crowd here at the quarterfinals on Saturday night is, you know, three, four, five, six hundred people deep. Um, the, the community supports it. Uh, every club, I think, in the area gives courts. Yes, this is an outdoor sport played in Chicago in the winter, but there are actually heaters underneath the court here, meaning neither rain nor wind, not even snow, can keep them from playing. Absolutely. As long as your court isn't building up with snow, but most of the heaters work really, really well. So yeah, you're playing and it doesn't matter how hard it's snowing, you're, you're playing in it. You're able to get out here in the sun and it might be 20 degrees, but uh, you know, that, that is, sounds crazy, but it relieves a lot of uh, that pent up cabin fever. And the best part of this event is that they raise money for charity. This year benefiting the Jocelyn Center, a community mental health center that works on a sliding fee scale. Paddle players in Chicago and the country are really generous and um, great people. And so we more, it's not just fundraising, it's friend raising and getting the word out. So it's going to be a, a great event for us and for them. And the sport is pretty much for all ages. Marino said they have players all the way up to their mid 80s, right. although I probably would not be playing it unless it was mid 80s outside. Yeah, yeah. agreed. <laughs>